alone. With the whole place to ourselves, things could get nasty real fast. <laughs> Stop! Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid, and today I'm going to play a highly, HIGHLY recommended game called Five Nights at Flirting. Uh-oh. Warning. Five Nights at Flirting is rated M for adult themes, acts of violence, mentions of child abuse, death, blood, gore, suicide, and torture. By agreeing to the Fazbear's Help Wanted ad, you agree that you are of legal age to play this game, 18+, plus, and that you are okay with the mentioned themes. I am 37, and I'm okay with it. Due to the lack of references since the original AU creator's absence from Tumblr, who wishes to not be named, I will be taking some liberties, and there will be small changes to the lore with the development of later games. This is an AU of an AU, the broken AU, which means certain things will be altered to fit the story. Okay. Because by god, if Undertale can have half a million AUs, I can make one for FNAF for myself. You, you do that. You be the change you want to be in the world. If you want to make a self-indulgent Five Nights at Freddy's slash Undertale alternate universe, you do that. Somebody, has somebody did that yet? Animatronic Sands. Family Pizzeria is looking for a mechanic to do night repairs on animatronics. It's 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Ugh, that's my bedtime. Yeah, sure. Good, good. Now before you begin, I have a few questions for you. For insurance and <coughs> legality reasons. So, first off, what is your gender identity? Female. Alright then, I'll mark that down in our database. Now. We have one last item to take care of. Your name. I am Espoir. It means hope in French. Alright then. You've signed your contract via audio by telling me your name. So now it's time for you to get in there and repair our broken animatronics. Oh, and you should probably meet your co-workers too. Oh. Oh, it's not a straight VN. <laughs> Man, as if our jobs weren't hard enough. Now boss has some new mechanic here at night, and we're gonna have to watch out for- mm -hmm. Hey, Fritz. Espoir! Is that you? I haven't seen you in ages. Wait... What are you doing here? Well, no use in trying to get you out now. The door's already been locked for the night, and there's no way out till morning. That seems like a safety hazard. What if there's a fire? Hmm. So, I know you're here as a mechanic, but what are you here to do exactly? You explained that your job is to repair the broken animatronics. Repair. Right. As if there's any way to repair these pieces of scrap. Fritz scratches the back of his head in frustration. Well, can't just leave you in the dark, so I'll introduce you to the other security guards. After all, we have a better chance of survival when we work together. Trust is a must. I'm sorry, survival? Did... Did you hear him right? Survival? Crap. I forgot they don't tell you anything when you sign up. Well, basically, it's like this. The animatronics start walking around the place at night, at the stroke of midnight. It's haunted. Possessed? Either or, it's super dangerous to roam the halls at night. Lucky for you, I found you before you got lost, and, uh, well... You can guess what would happen. Will I be her, her horribly more murdered by a bear? You comment on how, actually, you have no idea what would happen. <sighs> well, you're not wrong. Basically, if the animatronics catch you, they'll stuff you into a suit. I'm not gonna go into the details. I'm sure Scott will be more- Scott! <laughs> I understand that reference. We'll be more than happy to give you the extra details, anyhow. You ask who Scott is. Oh, he's one of the guys I work with. This week, we're all actually working together, so it's a bit... odd. Normally, we'd be running a shift on our own. More cost-efficient that way. But Boss has a huge party popping up soon, and he wants us around to help you out and fix the furballs up before showtime. Well, we've hung around here long enough. I'll introduce you to the guys. 
This is Chris. He's the janitor. Usually on day shift, but, uh, lately the place has been so messy he's had to stay over. Hello, Chris. Yo, what's up? Glad to have around some new meat. Means I have someone to pick on. <laughs> Chris is a really nice guy, to be honest. I just don't get why he works here. But it's just because I'm allowed to listen to my CD player while I work. Sometimes it's the simple things that make it fun for a workplace. Really? Heck yeah! I mean, can you count how many jobs let you listen to a music player while at work? Because I sure as heck can't. To any and all employers, that actually is a very helpful and productive thing for people to listen to music at work, and you should let them listen to music at work. Science has proved it! Let's move on. I have more to show you. This is the storage room, and this guy over here is Scott, although most people call him Phone Guy. H hello, hello! Who are you? Oh, this is my friend, Espoir. They're the mechanic that took the mech... tech... job. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But, um... Good news. If you're with us, you won't die. Well, probably. Maybe. Anyhow, it'll be nice to have someone new around. Maybe, if the animatronics don't eat me. Oh no, they won't eat you. No worries about that. If they see you, they'll just think you're an endoskeleton without a suit and force you into one of the suits in here. <laughs> You'd be so mangled that your family probably wouldn't be able to tell you apart from a hunk of hamburger, to be honest. Ooh. Not to discourage you from doing your job or anything. It's not that bad here. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind psychotic fursuits chasing you. <sighs> I don't like to be chased, especially not in RPG Maker games. Well, it was nice seeing you, Scott. Stay safe. I still have to introduce my pal here to the other guys. I will. Be sure to take care. Midnight will whirl around before you know it. <coughs> hey, guy. It's not like you're incredibly terrifying. Ah, <sighs> much better. You are gonna wash your hands this time, right? Fritzy, buddy, pow, how's it going? Life treating you well? No accidents so far, right? No, not really. Just showing around my friend, Espoir, so they don't get lost and die. Espoir, huh? Well, aren't you cute? <laughs> oh, Vinny, I love a man with a great smile. Don't even think about it, Vincent. They're off limits. Well, aren't you a killjoy? It's okay, Fritz. I don't mind. See, Fritz? They don't mind at all. Please, don't encourage him. No worries. I'm not one to kiss and tell. Oh, no! Guys, I'm standing right here. We still have three more people for you to meet, so let's head out. Three? Hey, sure, there's a lot of people in here. How are the animatronics gonna kill just me? Uh, I just know I'm gonna mess up. How am I supposed to train the newbie? I'm still new myself. You don't need to worry about that, Jeremy. I'm taking care of the basics. Jeez, you scared me, Fritz. Sorry about that. I just needed to show Espoir around. Oh, um, hi there, Espoir. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Jeremy. Jeremy can be a bit quiet, so if he doesn't talk much, don't take it to heart. Ask him about his interests. My interests? Oh, I like anime. You're a person of culture. My favorite is Sailor Moon. She's beautiful and amazing, and she always manages to pull through and save the day. Usually by whining and crying, or I don't know, being a literal god. She does it all while still being able to hang out with friends, balance school life, and trying to find out who the mysterious Tuxedo Mask is. But of course she eventually finds out and she falls in love with him, and then they have Mini Moon, and I know a lot of people wonder where Sailor Earth is, but I don't think they realize that Tuxedo Mask is actually the protector of Earth. Yep, yep, that is accurate, that is accurate. Now tell me who Chibi Chibi is! How deep are you? <laughs> And, and, um, I, I rambled. 
I'm sorry. I could listen to Jeremy talk about Sailor Moon all day. I love Sailor Moon. I like Utena more, but it all started with Sailor Moon. Jeremy, have you heard of Revolutionary Girl Utena? <laughs> well, if there's one way to get him out of his shell, it's anime. We'll catch you later, Jeremy. We still have two more people to visit. Okay, see you later. Oh, Jeremy. Cute! Oh, hello there. You must have been our new applicant. Yep, they're the newbie. One of my closest friends from high school, actually. Oh, well, we're happy to have you aboard. My name's Barbie. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Hi, Barbie. 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 I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, all right. Thank you. No problem. I'm always willing to help. I'm actually supposed to be working during the day, but I overheard rumors that there's been some disappearances in the building from one of my father's co-workers. No one will tell me anything, so I'm investigating it myself. If you see anything, be sure to report it to me, okay? Oh, uh, look at the time. I gotta hurry and introduce Espoir to one more person, Miss Barbie. So I'm sorry, we've gotta run. If she finds out what goes on around here at night, then we'll be in big trouble. And not just a slap on the wrist kind, her dad really doesn't want her to know, and to be honest, I wouldn't want her to know either, so keep that in mind, okay? I'm going to tell her everything! Hey, buddy. <sighs> Fluff and choke me. Are you okay, buddy? Or I could ask, are you into that? Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out how much money I need to make before I can flip two birds in unison at this place. <laughs> I mean, this place sucks. It's good to see you too, Mike. Hey, Fritz. Who's the new person? Aw, oh, Mike has heter het heterochromia. This is my friend, Espoir. They're the person that grabbed that wanted ad for a mechanic. You're either dumb, naive, or desperate for money. Uh, how about all three? I'm quite dumb. Which honestly, could be any of the above if we're completely honest here. Try and take it easy on them, okay, Mike? They don't really have an idea what's going on. Just like the rest of us when we started. Yeah, I know. This place just has a habit of making you really bitter, you know? Name's Mike. I hope you don't wind up like the last guy. Mike! What? I'm just being honest. <sighs> Come on, Espoir. I'll take you back out to the main room of the building. You have about a half an hour before shift starts, so go ahead and look around until then. Afterwards, though, head to one of our locations. It'll be safer for you with one of us. Oh, and go ahead and clock in. It's better to be early than late. It's not like you'll be paid extra, but you won't be docked pay for being late. Oh, okay. I should clock in. There, now I can wander around a bit before my shift. Woohoo! Wee! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! There's a timer! Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, can you grab me a pizza? I'm starving. I'll give you my lucky oven mitt. I got a, uh, no, uh, oven mitt. Don't they know that the scariest thing in video games is a timer? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, bit of advice. Don't go into Pirate's Cove unless you absolutely have to. The butthead hates people messing with his treasure. Oh, okay. Hey, Barb. What's going on? You good? What's up? Hello there, Espa. I hope your night is going well. It'd be great if there wasn't a timer. Oof. This place is big. Where's my other friend? Oh. Isn't this the place where he told me not to go? What's this map? The map reads, R. there be treasure inside this cove. Hey, buddy. Foxy stares at you with an eerie gaze. Best to leave him be. How about I mess with him more? It's a small boat that's labeled Foxy's Pirate Ship in red crayon. Oh. Also, the shift, the shift button ain't shifting. It's a machine full of Fazbear toys. It's in need of repair, but you're not allowed to mess with it. Oh, yeah. There are that many minutes in a year, and I only gotta deal with this place for 23,040 of them. I'd consider that lucky myself. Cute. 
It says, come back on night three. Why do you already have blood on you, Freddy? It's probably not a good idea to go on the stage. Really? Okay. Uh, didn't my friend want some pizza? Alright, that's the entrance. My buddy wanted some pizza. Some pizza? I hear rustling inside the box. Open it? Yes! Whomever taped this <laughs> did a darn good job. You can't open it. Alright. What's up, phone guy? Are you bored? It's okay. I get bored before my shift sometimes as well. I recommend talking to everyone before our shift starts. Who knows? We may have valuable information for you. An oil can. Can I take this Freddy Fazbear head? Staring at it gives you the creeps. I might need that. My buddy wants some pizza. Where is that pizza? Ah. It's a stand that vendors would sell dolls and give tickets out during the day. Where's that pizza at? And my time is- Hey, purple guy. Man, this place is creepy at night, isn't it? It'll only get worse if you don't fix the animatronics. Sounds exciting, don't you think? Uh, what about the bathroom? Can I hide, hide in the bathroom? Can I hide in the bathroom? There's a broken tooth in the sink. How is, how is there a broken tooth in the sink? Where's that pizza from my friend? Why do I only have 30 seconds? Why isn't the run button letting me run? This place is kind of big. Ooh, is there pizza here? Fully cooked pizza. Surprisingly, nothing is wrong with it. G give me that pizza. Um, hey, I found this. I don't know what you can use it for, but, um, here. I hope it helps. You received the tongs. I, w I want that pizza. Can I have that pizza? There's a hot pizza in the oven. You reach inside and burn your hand. Remember you have an oven mitt. You want to use it? Yes, <laughs> my time has run out. Oh no! You reach inside after equipping the mitt and grab the item. You got a pizza. You don't need the oven mitt anymore, but it's Fritz's, so you set it on the counter. Eep! It's almost midnight. I should decide whom I'm spending the night with. Uh... Uh, let's go in order. Mike. Hey, Mike. You seem like you need some company. Don't see Freddy Fazfluff and his friends anywhere nearby yet. Spending the night in here, huh? It's probably the safest place. I mean, you are security. Actually, this place is probably the worst. If you're in here, you have to play their game. And that is a whole nother ball game. Oh no! Oh yeah, there's the, the monitor and the fan. Oh no, I don't want to play Five Nights at Freddy's. No, 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 no. Move. Where? Uh, how dense are you? Just get out of the way. You know what? Just sit in the corner over there and stay out of trouble. The night's almost over. Get ready to leave. I'll see you tomorrow, if you don't die. Oh? Your first night has ended. Time to go home and sleep for the day. Lying in bed, you think about the events of the day. Mike is very commanding, but he does seem to care. It might be a good idea to give him space, but ask more questions for my survival. Hmm. You went to bed for the night. <laughs> hmm. I got a message on my pager. It reads, Come to the party room for a short meeting before your shift. Wonder what that's all about. Guess I should go. All right, everyone. As we all know, Espoir is with us for the next few days. Because of this, I want to remind everyone that she should be shown the same respect as you would any other employee here. You talk like any of us actually respect each other. That's besides the point, Mike. Point being, they're new, inexperienced, and are the most likely to be injured in a scrap. Unlike the rest of us, whom are already veterans of the game. You know, the game that you just lost. Oh! I don't know. 
I've never had the misfortune of actually seeing any of these monsters you guys talk about. Yeah, that's true. I know it can be hard being the new person. No worries. I can take care of the newbie, teach him a few things, mostly of the sexual ver- Oh! F <laughs> Mike managed to hit Vincent pretty hard. You make a note not to make him angry. Then, you need to watch your language. That could be grounds for sexual harassment. Do you really want that on your record? Thank you, Mike. Uh, hit him again for me. <laughs> Not that I'm opposed to hitting Vincent when he says stupid crap, but didn't you just say to treat everyone with respect? <laughs> hit me harder, Daddy. <laughs> Vincent! Stop! I changed my mind. Go ahead and hit him. Guys, we still have to prepare for the night. This meeting hasn't really, um, gone anywhere yet. I mean, I don't mean to interrupt, but we should probably hurry up and finish up. The, the meeting, I mean. Oh, right. Sorry, Jeremy. Well, what I was going to say was mostly directed at our dear Espoir over here. Now, not to put you on the spot, but we may be able to do our jobs better if you pick a permanent person to be your partner throughout the week. No worries, we're not going to make you choose right away. Tomorrow, whomever you pick will be the person you stick with for the rest of your time here. Okay. Reason being is, well... Boss has kind of decided to get cheap on his side again. He's worried that having too many people around is causing a distraction and that you're not doing your work. I kind of didn't do any work yesterday. So he told us that we needed to decide among ourselves by Wednesday whom you were going to spend the rest of the week with. Meanwhile, the rest of us would return to our respected shifts, or cover for the person whom you picked if they're normally a day shift worker. So, no pressure. Aww. Sounds like a load of bull. But I'm good if you want me on your side. Let's show those faz fluffs who not to mess with. I kinda like him. I kinda wanna do everyone, but I kinda like him. Uh, I'm not the best, but I'll make sure to do my best. You know, you can count on me, pal. Alone. With the whole place to ourselves, things could get nasty real fast. <laughs> Stop! I'll try to be good company for you and keep you safe. I mean, heck, I've been through worse. Sticking it out overnight won't be so bad. If you need help with anything, I'll be in the office. So that's it. You have until tomorrow to decide whom to work with. For now, it's just another day, or night, at the pizzeria. Okay. J you guys are just gonna leave me here? Oh, snap. Hey, if you see a taser in the trash, it's mine. Take it if you want. Ooh, duly noted. Do I have items? Yeah, I still have pizza. I have day-old pizza. What's up, Vincent? Hmm, you know, you might be able to save yourself if you have a weapon. And it'd be unfortunate if you died, so here, you can have my knife. It's a spare. You got a... a knife? What have you got there, Espoir? A knife! No! Might there be a taser in the boys' bathroom? Nope. Thank you for the knife. Why are you flirting so hard, guy? Hey, where's Bonnie? Where Bonnie at? Bonnie! I found this old cane. Can you toss it in the janitor's closet when you get the chance? You received a cane. Okay. Oh, I got a knife. Yeah. You cut open the box and peer inside. You got a bow tie. You don't need the knife anymore, so you did what? No! 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 You always need a knife. Why would you throw the knife away? Alright, I got a cane. Hey, did you still want that pizza? Why is it whenever there's a mess, those guys just toss the trash in here? Uh, what? Is this the janitor's thing? It looks like there's some sort of hat up there. Grab it? Sure. You stretch your arm in, but you can't quite reach. You remember you have a cane. Do you want to use it? You reach up with the cane and grab the item. You got a top hat. 
You don't need the can anymore, so you throw it away. Or you put it in the place... You put it in the place where you're supposed to put it. I don't like having a, having a timer. Oh yeah, this is this guy's room. I thought I heard something scratching around in the storage area. Darn place is probably full of rats. Oh, I can go this way. Uh, what's up, Barbie? I really hate to ask, but tomorrow I'll have some papers on the desk here. Can you throw them away from me? I don't want to look at it. Oh, okay. This music is bumping, though. Oh, okay. Did I go through here? What's up, friend? I accidentally dropped soap in the oven. I hope the chefs don't notice in the morning. Well, get it out of there. Get get it out of there. Don't keep soap in the oven. Where's that taser? Oh yeah, I was supposed to be checking for a taser. Can I have that, uh... Wait, hold on a second. Ah! It's almost midnight. I should decide whom I'm spending the night with. I like Mike. I like Mike. I think in this playthrough, I'll go for Mike. Mike, it's you and me for the next few nights. You're here again, huh? Guess I misjudged you. Those animatronics are known to scare off a lot of the maintenance workers after the first night. Hmm. So what are you here for anyway? You know the job is dangerous, but you came back for a second night of heck. Isn't one night enough for you? I should ask you the same thing. Touché. Darn chicken. Get lost, you Looney Tune wannabe. My parents. They're old. My mom's a lawyer, my dad's a surgeon. Actually, he's the same person that... Mike shakes his head before stopping and looking at you. Anyways, they're a lot more successful than I can ever hope to be. And I'm not gonna be that bratty kid that sits back on the couch. Living off of mom and dad's money. They raised me better. I can't even focus long enough to get through a fluffing college class course. Not to mention, every job I've tried to have up till this one fired me for misconduct. This... this is the only place that'll accept me. I'm stuck here. That's what it boils down to. <sighs> Look, I'm only gonna tell you one more time. Get out of here. Get lost. Save yourself from this... from the FNAF lore. You've got a better life ahead of you, rather than risking your life for ungrateful fluffs like me, okay? So scram! Boss can find a different, worthless effer who deserves to rot in here instead. But... I want to be here. And take care of you. I... What? His mouth opens and closes, as if his brain is short-circuited. don't say stuff like that to a guy. Crap, you... You'll make him think things. Well, it's about that time again. Better, uh, pack up your things and get ready to go home. <sighs> hey, um, how about I walk you home? Okay, dollface? <coughs> Mike seems to have nothing but troubles on his shoulders. Hmm. Tomorrow's another day. There, now I can wander around a bit before my shift. Hmm? I've got a message on my pager. Reminder that after tonight, whomever isn't picked will return to their regular shift. Tonight's the night. I also have to pick one of them to stay with me the rest of the week. What? Uh-oh. Oh, hello! Are you here to help us? We've been here so long. We're so tired of always remembering the past, what happened all those years ago. Please, set us free. Please, help us. Uh, it's been so long, so very long. We just want to sleep. We just want to rest. But we can't. Not until the monster who killed us has been sent to his own grave. Not until he can feel his death again, and again, forever suffering, forever dying. It's a nightmare we relive each day, so wouldn't it be fair, espoir? 
fair that he should die the same way. I cannot remember who did it, though I just know it was a man. And that man was a night guard. That man made us suffer, and if you stay, you'll suffer too. If you can't help us, then you'll die too. If you can't help us, then your time is nearly up. If you help him, we'll kill you too. Oh no! Was... what was that? A child's voice? She'll... she'll kill me? You try to shake off the cold feeling of chills shooting up your spine. Warning, whomever you pick as your companion tonight will be the branch you follow for the rest of the game. Choose wisely. I want my buddy. I also want that taser. There used to be a golden Fredbear suit in here. Where did it go? Why ain't the run button running? Hey, you're running around, right? Here, maybe this can help you. Clean up your skills. You received a dustpan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. What are these? You found a newspaper article. The Bite of 87. Was that the Bite of 87? <gasps> can I can I read those? I probably don't have time to do that. It tells a story about how a child was injured during a tragic event. The child looks like Mike. What? It looks like it attaches to something. It looks like it could hold a lot of dust or dirt. Okay. Hmm. I'm always so happy to see you. Oh. Oh, Scott's file. 48. He has some backed up bills with the company. Should take him another five years <laughs> till they're paid off. Good worker. Extend contract if possible. Jeremy's file. Hold on. Is there anything on Mike? Vinny's file. Chooses to work here. Daughter died in the 1987 disappearance incident. Kind of twitchy. Keep an eye on him. Hmm. Barbie's file. My daughter hopefully will run the company as well as I have. I have high expectations for her, currently working as my executive manager. Hmm. I, wa I wonder <laughs> if I'm wasting time. Ah, now Freddy's missing. I hope Miss Barbie's doing alright. I worry about that poor girl overworking herself. Oh, that's the front door. I don't, can't use that. I really hope Vincent hasn't thrown away more important paperwork in the men's bathroom like he did last week. Ugh. Ooh, I would like to investigate that, but I don't think I have enough time. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh well. Mike. Let's stay, let's stay with Mike. Hey, Mike. Me? Huh? Well... I guess I could understand why. Out of all the other guys, I've learned to pick up on a lot of things they couldn't. Though, I'm still wondering why exactly you choose me. Because you're dependable. It's not because you, you seem like a tough guy and you're really cute. Dependable, maybe. I show up for work every night anyway. Now, on to more important things. We need to work out a game plan and figure out how we're gonna fix those animatronics before Friday. You've only got three days left to figure out how to fix them. After that, well, you may as well forfeit your pay, I guess. If I were you, I'd hate to be here any longer than I'd have to be, and I sure as heck would hate to be here for no reward in the end. In here, we're about as safe as you can be from deadly animatronics that want to kill you. Alright, so, have you at least figured out which animatronic it is that needs repaired? If so, we can go from there. Who knows? Maybe it'll stop all the crazy crap from happening in the first place. You admit that you have no idea, despite your best efforts. Well, that's fluffing peachy. Ugh. That means we're going to have to go out there with all the animatronics roaming around. And since it's in the middle of the week, they're going to start being a bunch of fluffing a-holes. So we got one shot. We're gonna need to figure out which one it is that needs repaired. And if we don't, we're fluffing dead. So, let's find them before they find us, okay? Hmm? Hmm? Foxy. The one you need to fix is Foxy. I've pr protected Mikey all this time. But even I have my limits. Why did your eyes go all dark and crazy like that one? 
Please fix him. Fix the curse. I, no, we, we're begging you. Is that actually you talking, Mike? Because I don't think that's you talking. Hmm? What are we waiting for? You tell Mikey what just happened and mentioned how you know which animatronic to repair now. A little girl? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> as crazy as it all sounds, Espoir, I feel like if anyone can stop this nightmare, it just might be you. You know I'll always have your back, right? That no matter what gets thrown at us, I'm there for you. Oh. You could feel Mike's breath on your forehead, as if he was hesitating to do something. Before either of you could react, however. Ugh, crap. Sorry. Mm. I have some things to discuss with you tomorrow for now. Just get some rest, Espoir. The rest of my week will be spent with Mike. I only hope that we can figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. Mike was distracted. You could tell by the look in his eyes that something was tearing at him. And no matter how you tried to grasp it, it pained you to look at him. Sorry. I was... daydreaming. You could hear the worry lacing his voice, and it only made you worry more. You needed to focus, or there was no way you'd be able to figure out how the night would play out. Dang it! Why couldn't you just... leave? I don't know if you don't understand how likely it is we're going to die here, or if you just don't understand. But dang it! I don't want you to fluffing die! There was a lot of anger behind his voice, but also a hint of sadness. I will reassure you, my buddy. My good friend. You couldn't stand the look on his face, contorted in anger and sadness. The way he looked at you with worry, it pained your heart and made you want to touch him all the more. Lacing your hands behind his head, you went in for a kiss. Espoir, what are you- mm. Placing your lips on his, you felt the shiver of warmth shoot from your cheeks to your belly, stirring feelings you couldn't describe. It was a feeling you had to experience to understand. This was all Mike needed. Oh, oh! Is that the result of the bite of 87? Gripping your hips, he pulled you forwards, pressing desperate kisses to your lips. Just <laughs> Freddy body and Chica are just in the window. Oh, Goosebumps shivered up your legs from the cold chill of the pizzeria air. What about the animatronics? You gasped while he pressed a kiss to your neck. Eep! He shut both the doors. It's 5 a.m., we've got time, and plenty of power. Let me make this good for you. With a nod, you watched as Mike tugged down the collar of your shirt before he gave a hard nip on your neck. Straddling his waist, you pressed your lips to his forehead, a shiver running down Mike's spine before he let out a soft sigh. Tonight may have been a waste in terms of fixing animatronics, but it was far from a waste of your time with Mike. Oh. Mike's hands are surprisingly gentle for someone so rough. You'll remember this night for a long time. As long as we don't die. The clock continued to tick on the screen, your eyes unfocused as you tried to process what you needed to do. You still didn't have a clue. As you sat down in the night guard's seat, you could only wait till Mike returned. Oh, okay, I'm assuming that Mike isn't supposed to be standing right there next to me. Enter me, just, just, just block that Mike out. He, he doesn't need to be here. Ugh, darn fox. He took a good chunk out of my arm. What's the power at? Half panicked, you looked down at the small tablet that showed the cameras, a mere 15% showing on the screen. But how? 15? Mailed! How's the power get so low so quickly? It's only 2 a.m. <sighs> a pounding on the door jostles you from your panic as you look behind Mike to the door. You couldn't hold out forever. 12%? 9%? 5%? It was falling, fast. Ah, darn it. If that darn fox thinks he's getting in here and getting you, he's got another thing coming. No! Why are your eyes doing that? No worries, Espoir. He'll get you over my dead body. 
<gasps> you hear a sickening crunch in the dark as something warm covers your fingers. You manage to make out something in the light. No! Mike! Mike's body twitches involuntarily at your feet as the giant fox stares down at you. Foxy! Oh! Foxy, you make me angry, Foxy! Oh, you killed my boyfriend! Oh, Foxy, you're gonna get it now! I'm gonna turn you into a... a, a... What do you make foxes into? A coat! You're gonna, you're gonna get turned into a coat, Foxy! You're next. How dare you? How? How dare you? Ouch! Looks like your ending fell a bit short. But that's okay, just start a new game and try again. <clears throat> Be sure to look for clues around your favorite guard and talk to them frequently between shifts to receive hints and clues. Sometimes you may just have to research an area near them you've searched before. Who knows? Maybe the man dumped a clue nearby. Eh? Eh? Ah! Oh yeah, I didn't use the dustpan for anything. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I need to find some more clues or something. Oh, there's something stuck inside the drop slot. Oh yeah, tongs. A feather? Why did I throw that knife away? Chica! Do you remember? Come back here when you've regained all your lost memories. What? Foxy! Foxy, what's going on with ya? You? you really need to sit down and learn more about these dorks. Something glimmering. Grab it. You begin to dig with Foxy's gaze on you. Remember you have a dustpan. Making quick work of the sand, you unbury the item and got a hook. Okay, Fo Foxy, you want this hook? There's a cassette tape at Foxy's feet. Play it. Exotic butters. <laughs> when you and Fritz were little, you used to pretend to treasure hunt. You'd be Mangle and he'd be Freddy. Okay. Huh. All right, I've got Foxy's hook. Does that mean anything? Is that gonna help Mike? You could hear the worry lacing his voice, and it only made you worry more. You needed to focus, or there was no way you'd be able to figure out how the night would play out. Dang it! Why couldn't you just leave? I don't know if you don't understand how likely it is we're going to die here, or if you just don't understand, but dang it! I don't want you to fluffing die! I don't want you to fluffing die either, Mike! Hey, once this is all over, I say we go out for something. Boss's treat. You appreciate the humor in Mike's voice, but you also doubt that your boss would be that free with his money. Yeah, I know. Good thing I've got some money scrolled away. It won't be anything big, but it'll be nice. If we survive! <laughs> so, let's hurry up and finish this. Judging by the monitor, looks like he's in the back of the building, but we need a key to get in there. Fluff, do you know where it is? Key? Key? Oh. Oh, snap. There are pink glitter pens in the trash can. Cute. We have plenty of time to snoop. Oh, yeah. Can I buy the 87 newspaper? Ah. I was hoping I could use that on Mike and do the equivalent of shoving it in his face. Key. Where would a key be? I mean, it could be anywhere. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can go back to the stage, right? Ah, the thing's not here anymore. Uh-oh. There's some blood here. No, that blood was not there earlier. Oh, snap, there's some more blood. Oh, snap, there's some more blood. Oh, snap, there's some more blood! There's so much blood. Hey, Foxy? Do you know? No, any. Where did Foxy go? Oh, map? 
There's something scrawled in crayon. It reads, Check the storage shelf. Again, the sand makes you think of all the memories that are flooding back to you, like the sands of time. Odd how your memories can bloom in such a heckish place. Foxy? Foxy, hold on. Just, uh, storage. Which place was storage? Was this storage? Check the, the shelf in the storage area. I'm checking. Dang it. Chris had cleaned enough bloodshed with this mop. Let's change that. Okay, so I guess maybe we should follow the blood. Eep! The blood is Scott's. He's been suffering and hurting far too long. Let's end this. Scott spent so long trying to fix the animatronics, it's time to let him rest easy for once. Where? You stare into the face of the defaced robot part. You feel a wave of relief. It would all be over soon. What, what's that supposed to mean? Tonight, you all will be put to rest. That's what you're thinking. There's a note here. It reads, Good luck, friend. It's got to be from one of your co-workers. Oh yeah, because we're on the night shift and everyone's on the day shift. After tonight, you swear there won't be any more blood spilled. The innard remains of some unfortunate guy that worked here before you. Oh, so, so it's just left there? There's an oil can on the shelf. There's a key that seems to be recently put there. It's covered in blood. <laughs> You obtained the night watch key. Eep. Okay, now what? A key used to open the mysterious door. Okay. Which mysterious door? The front door? The door out of here? Do I need to run? Can I leave? You can see one of your friends outside petting the cat, but you're not sure whom it is. Key? Mysterious door? I want to go in that door. This is a child's restaurant, and for some reason, seeing disgusting things in this trash can have ceased to phase me. <laughs> uh, alright. Really glad nothing's really jumping out at me right now. Alright, key, mysterious door. Mysterious door? Mysterious door? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was a table. I didn't realize that was gate. I've been walking around trying to figure out what to do. You recall you have a key that may just work. As you turn the key, the latch is undone. However, the old key breaks and is now useless. Hey, good work. Let's get going. I did not know that was a gate that required a key! <gasps> it's been so long. Mm -hmm. Finally, I can at least tell you before I die. Mm -hmm. Then again, maybe I should keep it to myself. No, please, share. Would you even forgive me? <laughs> Why is such a long hallway over here? Foxy! Foxy, what's going on here? What's up? Before you set me free, I wanted to say, I'm sorry, Mike. Huh? I'm sorry we... No. I treated you so badly that I got so mad and yelled at you. Just maybe if I'd paid more attention to you, you wouldn't have had to suffer as you had. Maybe, Foxy wouldn't have harmed you. Is she talking about the Bite of 87? I... I don't remember much. Ugh, it makes my head hurt to think. But, I do remember you. Just a little. And, I forgive you. You place the hook back on the animatronic where it belongs. Thank you so much. I know it's not much, but I'm very grateful. Espoir? Take care of Mikey for us. We'll see you both again someday. I don't get it. Why am I crying? Uh, 
see you around, Ellie. The nightmare was over. A few months after some therapy, it was nice to be able to settle down and just relax for the moment. Work's been so much easier with you around, you know that? You couldn't help but smile at the guard, his blue eyes drowning in yours. Yeah, I think we can pizza together everything and relax for once. There's a flicker of a smile on his face. One thing you hadn't gotten to see much during your time working the first week was Mike's plentiful puns. A few months later, he was making up for it. Guess we outfoxed him, didn't we? You could say we were well guarded. Are my ears ringing or are those just wedding bells? Oh, they've got a ring on her finger. You listened to him rattle on with puns and quips, happy to be in your lover's arms. Congrats, you bagged yourself a security man, and got the ending you deserve. Be sure to check out the other routes, if you can figure them out. See you next time. Oh. What if I say no? No, get me out of here! Then why are you here? <laughs> well, I will definitely be going and seeing what everyone else has to say. But oh boy, that, that was fun. That was pretty fun. I like games that mix visual novel stuff with RPG Maker stuff. And that, that was really fun. And I didn't need to know a bunch of FNAF lore to understand it. Well, thank you to the many, many people who suggested I play this game. I, I've got a lot of games to, to get around to. I'll get around to it. And I'd love to know what you have to say in the comments. Did I miss anything with this route? I, I don't think I did, and there seems to be a lot I can miss. But I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments, so you can write something down there and I will read it. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope. <laughs>